Here we have the Sennheiser HD 280 Pro headphones. These are well-revered, well-respected headphones for mixing and mastering. You know, doing pro audio work at not too much of a price. We're talking usually around a hundred bucks uh, for these, which is you know not a, not a bad price overall for headphones. Of course, you wouldn't want to use these. At least more than likely, you wouldn't want to be use something like this for listening to music if you are uh, if you are not a creator of music because. These will have a flat response because they are for monitoring. They're not going to be hyped in the low end or hyped in the uh, top end or the mids or whatever. So let's go ahead and look at these, uh, some of the specs here. Take a look at the box if you want. But we're going to go ahead and move on here and uh, open this up. And there we go, man. There's the headphones packed nice in the uh, package and, of course, your instruction manual that looks like uh, about all there is all there is to it so there are the headphones the hd 280 pro pad for your head as well you don't always see that now one-sided connection it does not remove uh, you know it's not removable it's uh, built in there very soft ear cups i gotta give it that uh, as far as how they feel i haven't actually tried them on yet but we'll we'll find out in a minute uh, basic things like swiveling you know swiveling ear cups I'm sure if you've had professional uh, headphones in the past, you've, you'll know what that's all about. It does have a coiled cable. Some people hate that. Some people like it. And of course, like all of our professional headphones, they remove down to the uh, 3.5 millimeter plug and adapt to our uh, quarter inch because that's what we use when making music, at least most of the, uh, you know, most of the time. After thoroughly testing the Sennheiser HD 280 Pro headphones, I gotta say I'm pretty blown away for headphones in this price range. First off, these have a frequency response of eight. Yeah, eight hertz to 25K. That's an insane range of frequencies for headphones in the $100 price range. As far as the fit, I do not find them overly tight uh, at all. They're a little tight at first, but uh, they should loosen up if they're too tight. And the ear pads are nice, big, uh, you know, plush. Uh, plush ear pads there. Isolation. Very, very isolating headphones. Cutting out all that ambience. You know, for people like us, we are going to like the sound of these headphones because we like things with a flat response. Now, if you are used to consumer headphones, you may not like these right off the bat. Unlike consumer headphones, which oftentimes boost that low end, with this, you know, with kick drums, with bass guitar, or just, you know, bass instruments, really low end instruments, you're not going to get that huge booming surrounding uh, low end that you get with consumer headphones. Now, this is what we want. You know, whenever you're recording, whenever uh, you're listening back to your mix, you want to hear things as they actually are. Because as we, as you should know, uh, you know, what people listen back on makes a huge difference to what they hear. So whenever you're mixing, whenever you're recording, you need to record things and hear things accurately. So your mixes translate properly on whatever playback system the consumer is listening back on. So a very flat response, very clear and articulate low end, as well as the high end and the mid range. You can really hear everything in a mix and you can hear it how it actually, you know, how it actually is. Again, very isolating headphones, great for whenever you're really close to say a condenser microphone, a large diaphragm condenser microphone. You're not going to get that bleed uh, through the headphones back into uh, the microphone. Very, very good at isolating sound. They are very high quality headphones for around a hundred dollars. You know, I even listened to, you know, nine string guitar uh, being played through these headphones and everything was clear and articulate and I could hear it how it actually, you know, how it actually sounded. So I have no problem whatsoever recommending these here, uh, the Sennheiser HD 280 Pro for the $100 range of headphones. I doubt you're going to find anything uh, much, much better than this for that hundred dollar price range. So very, very good headphones. That's the Sennheiser HD 280 Pro.